guess what we're fishing for today? That's right, carp. <laughs> what is going on, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another high adventure video. For the next two days, we are going to dedicate our time to hunting the great crappy. Should be a perfect time of year to do this. It is late winter, early, early spring. Looks like it's gonna be pretty sunny, so we better get after it. All right, we are going to just start right up here at this bridge. We've got multiple bridges in the area, some docks. We're kind of starting here at the upper end of Lake Murray, uh, but then as the day progresses, we're gonna move kind of towards the middle of the lake. We'll probably even pack the boat up and drive about five, eight miles down towards the middle of the lake, drop in and hit some more bridges down that way that I know of. Just this little sartreuse, and hopefully this will put them in the boat. There you go, first flick and drop right there. Huh. All right guys, hit all three pilings, really not marking a lot. They might be a little bit further back up in these creeks. So we're gonna go ahead and take a run up this river and find another bridge. First bridge, no good. Here we go. Bridge number two. Let's get it. Ooh, this is skinny. This is very skinny. All right, everybody. We have moved on to a dock here. Well known little dock. I've fished this several times in the past. As you can see, it's quite windy out here. Gotten quite gnarly. I was expecting this. It's actually supposed to get calmer as the day goes on. About 10 o'clock in this morning, it's supposed to peak. And then by about one or two o'clock, it's supposed to drop quite significantly. So hopefully the weatherman doesn't totally mess us over, but it is still March. So winter is still here, technically. There's one right there, right there. Got him, just loaded on. Nice, first fish of the day. Oh, that's not a bad one, not a bad one. There you go, hey, got the skunk out of the boat, ladies and gentlemen. So I used this little clear jig with some black fleck in it. Show you guys, look at that, just that guy right there. Blue jig head, popped that guy, nice. Nice, found our first one of the day. How big does she run? They gotta be eight inches in the leg. I know that's bigger than eight inches. Yeah, that's a, it's about a 10 incher. Right close to 10. Nice bit of meat off that for sure. Whew, all right, skunk out of the boat. First fish of the day. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, this is about the best thing I've scored all morning. Right here, basket of hot fresh fries from Big Man's. So we're pulling out. And we are heading towards the middle of the lake. We could drive down there in the boat, but then I don't want to have to run all the way back up, spend all that gas. And then it's just a little bit faster. It's only like a 15 minute drive around to get towards like my Drear Island location. Hmm. Just talked with a guy who um, has been long lining this morning and he said, I caught like two and that's it. It's been pretty windy as you guys could tell. And um, this has been real hard to fight that, but it is supposed to calm down this afternoon and it's supposed to be a gorgeous day tomorrow. So I'm not giving up on Lake Murray yet. We're gonna keep battling and uh, see if we can find some fish at a couple different locations, middle part of the lake. All right, bridge number four. Guys, this is the first bridge I ever fished in South Carolina. And the first video I ever shot was under this bridge and we hammered like five or six slab crappy. So we're coming back to roots basically. And what I have here is I have a tackle box from a Mr. Chuck. Mr. Chuck lives over in Greenwood. We're hopefully gonna see him later today when we make our way that way. But look at this, he hooked me up with an absolute massive 
amount of crappy fishing baits. And this isn't even all of it. He's got me a bunch of other stuff. And he get, literally gave me like $100 worth of crappy stuff. He was like, Mike, you need to get into this. You don't have enough bait. So he took care of us. But the bait that we're going to start with today, I like this look right here. It's like, it's called like Mountain Dew Madness or something. Look at that. Some sparkles in it. Sartreuse, some black. Looked like I see some orange and yellow sparkles some bluish sparkles in there as well i should say flex but mountain dew i think it was mountain dew madness it's mountain dew something or rather but that's the one we're going to start with and we're going to see if we can't hammer something at our old home spot here all right, all right here we go here we go how deep is it 10 feet there's one right there right there Oh, big old crappy, big old crappy. Oh my gosh. Oh guys, this is exactly what we've been after. Exactly what we've been after. Oh, look at this toad. Yes! Oh my heavens. Oh, that's a, that's a stud. That is a stud right there. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's a, that's a piggy. That's what you want. I'm gonna get away from this bridge a bit. Look at that, hit that jig, that Mountain Dew. Mr. Chuck, thank you, sir. That one's on you right there. Look at that, that's a slab. That's a slab, I'll bet that's everybody 14 inches right there. Let's see, let's see. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Just a little over 14, look at that. There you go. Finally, after four bridges and two docks and a brush pile, we finally laid in to our really nice size crappy middle of the day too. I mean, we're, we're right at lunchtime, 14 and a quarter inches. Glad we decided to move, jump in the truck, head to the middle of the lake. And uh, first bridge has paid off so far. Let's get her on a stringer. That's awesome. Told you, let's not give up on this lake yet. <laughs> Look at that. I was excited about that one this morning. I was like, sweet. And then you got that big mama. Good grief. Amazing the difference four inches makes. Got our little jig ready to go again. Right back down. I'm gonna cruise back to these pillars. There's actually quite a bit of current moving through here. There must be water running from somewhere. I don't even know where. This isn't even like close to a uh, close to a, like a, a creek that I know of, but it's really ripping through here. I mean, there's a little eddy behind each one of these pilings. We're gonna keep working these pilings see if any more are hanging out there's one right there right there another oh shoot she just got off that was another nice one y'all that was another nice one dang it guys they're down here they're straight up down here i think they're sitting right behind these pilings i think that's what they're doing there's one we just got bumped again little bump little bump guarantee you that was another crappy right there got him got him Dude, that's another hoss. It's another hoss. Oh my gosh. It's like another 14 incher. Holy cow. Yes! Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Guys, look at this. Look at how far he ate that. Look at that. All the way down there. Good grief. I need the pliers. That isn't just another pig. Another pig, I'll bet that's 14 as well. Let's measure it up, measure it up. Ooh, 13, about 13 and a quarter. 13 and a quarter, but that's, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a really, really beautiful crappy. Come on, guys, they're down here. Let's go, finding them. This is awesome. Y'all, this is such a small, very kind of just quiet, unassuming bridge. It's not big it's not in very deep water it's more of a through fair uh here in this part of the lake you know people tra traverse under it to get to the other side of the lake and i just i think people just overlook it they they there are much bigger bridges to fish all around here um uh bigger brush piles in the area and so i think people just they roll through it's only about 11 feet deep and they're like nah but we're finding fish here i can almost guarantee you there should be at least a few more hanging out down here. At least one or two more. <sighs> All right, y'all. I apparently lied. Those were the only two under there. We're going to head to the next bridge and uh, check that out next. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is evening time, and I am actually trolling a couple of crappy rods, aka long lining, uh, to my final bridge, which is just around the corner over there. Um, I hit one other bridge uh, after that bridge that we hit with the uh, with the two crap, nice size crappy on it, and uh, nothing. Nothing. I saw a crappy down there, but they just were not biting. This is our last shot right here. Uh, if we don't get anything here, that's it. Uh, kind of the final uh, final chance for a home run. We do have a couple nice ones in the cooler, but um, yeah, this is, has been a really slow day here on Lake Murray. All right, we're at our bridge. Let's get and pull up. Will the final one come through in the clutch? Stay tuned. What in the world? What is that? And we'll find out. No, that's gotta be, that's gotta be striped bass. There it is, got him. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a striped bass. Yeah, little striper. Little striper. That was pretty cool though. Huh. Here's a bite. Got him. There we go. There we go. There we go. Doesn't feel like a bad fish. Look at that run. Oh yeah, that's a nice crappy. Nice crappy. There we go. Come on, come on. Little redemption. Flip him aboard. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice fish. Oh look, just popped out too. Let's go. Let's go. Final bridge of the day. Final bridge of the day. That goes 12. A little over 12, 12 and a quarter. All right, let's get back down there. See if I see him again on the graph. Let me show you guys. I've been looking for the form to be schooled up under these bridges all day and I just, I haven't seen schools, but this is the first, oh, there's one right there, right there, right as I dropped it down. That's another nice one. I was gonna say, I haven't seen schools like I typically see. That's another 12 incher, guys. That's another 12 incher. Look at that slab-o. Well, I'll show you here in a minute. Ooh, right in the top of the mouth. Come on, what's that? Right at 12, right at 12 inches. <laughs> That's the action I like. Another not bad fish. You know, we've got this evening time. Sun will set here in about 40 minutes. I've got a feeling we've got about an hour long bite here, maybe 45 minute long bite that we need to try to get on. Check this out right here. So there are pilings right there, right? See those little dots right there? There's some fish. That's what I'm looking for. There are some of the, uh, the trussle lines there you can see right there. Those are those connecting ones right there. You see those big, big blobs? Those are our crappy. Oh, look at that, look at that. Small blobs right there, it looks like. Yep, yep, definitely, definitely. See, you almost kind of see they're like, uh, they're almost like shaped in little balls, like little pancakes. There are definitely some more crappy down there for sure, for sure. We're gonna just keep rolling by these trestles. Got him, got him, got him. A solid fish. Oh, big crappy. That's a giant. Oh my gosh. I need a net. I need a net. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this guy. This is a brute. The bite is on. We found our fish under this here bridge. We'll call it the last stand bridge. <laughs> Look at that. Y'all, look at how he swallowed that. You see that way down in there? Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see in there. Holy cow. Popped it up. Let's see how big it is. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Move my stuff. That the biggest one of the day? It'll match the biggest of the day, just a little over 14. That is matching the biggest of the day. We've got two a little over 14 inches. That is a beautiful, beautiful Lake Murray, South Carolina crappy right there. All right, y'all. The bite is officially over. I've been working the bridge for the last 45 minutes ever since the sun went down. And it seemed like there's about a 45 minute window uh, where we were catching fish, where we added real nicely to the stringer. There you go. Honestly, 
I feel like we kind of hit a home run at that last bridge. Like, that really salvaged our day, in my opinion. I'm really interested to see what the pattern is like tomorrow. I've got a feeling because we weren't finding fish like stacked up under bridges and on brush pilings. Got a feeling they're on the move. We're gonna find that out tomorrow, hopefully uh, at Lake Greenwood. Speaking of Greenwood, we're gonna go ahead and load the boat up and we're gonna head there right now, tonight. It's only like 7.30 in the evening. So we're gonna just drive there. It's only about 50 minutes from here, maybe an hour depending on traffic. And uh, we're gonna get to camp, get set up. Yeah, so we could be there first thing in the morning and get an early start on it. So let's go ahead and get these guys on ice and get to the next lake. So when I moved down south, I was introduced to the refreshing beverage, Yoohoo. And I have to say, it is life-changing. Like whoever invented this stuff should win a Nobel Prize. They should be serving this in like five-star restaurants. Would you like a Yoohoo? with your Wagyu, certainly pairs well. Mm. We're about halfway to Greenwood and I'm gonna go meet Mr. Chuck, who knows everything there is to know about fishing Lake Greenwood and especially crappy fishing Lake Greenwood. So I'm pretty excited. He's gonna lend me a couple of his long lining crappy rods, super generous of him, and uh, hopefully help me tear it up tomorrow on a lake that I haven't fished that much. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. Meeting at a sketchy location under the cloak of darkness. Let's go say hello. Mr. Chuck. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? How'd you do? I'm Murray. Uh, it was slow, but I got seven. Two of them were over 14 inches. So, you know, I fished, I fished docks, I fished brush pilings, and they just weren't there. So, I'm figuring they're probably on the move. Holy cow! How long is that rod? This one is... Slab Daddy? 12 foot. Holy cow! Good grief. Oh my gosh! That's about as big as the boat. Is that not cool? That's awesome! Like, this one... Y'all look at this. That's a this oh. one's like a 10 foot. Oh, much more manageable. So, so it could go <laughs> in the rod holder like this. Okay, okay. And then the 12 foot would go out here. Right. And it would be out further. I see, and yeah. And then shorter rod. Right, because I got two five and a halfs. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's how I figured I'd do it, but uh, I, I was not like, holy cow. You know, I've seen... <laughs> I've seen it in movies. I just haven't uh, <laughs> done it myself. But I tell you what, you might not get these back. No, I don't, you might never see I, me again. I want, I want you to use them. <laughs> Appreciate that. Good is that grief! Not cool? That is sweet. Try casting it. Try casting. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Uh, look out, you, everybody! You'll be surprised. Everybody, stand back. Now this is a four. You, you're gonna be surprised at how much distance you can get. Holy cow! I can tell you right now, I can I think I can cast that farther than my five and a half foot rod. Wow. It's all light tackle. And and look, when I talk about backbone, lift up on it. See, that's the kind of the bend I'm looking for tomorrow right there. Now a striper can destroy the rod. Oh, okay, okay. But so we'll loosen the drag if we hook into one of the drag it. and everything. Don't don't give up on it. Okay. Still try to get it. Oh, right, right. Oh, no, no. I ain't giving up on any fish. I'm excited. I, I think I think you'll enjoy it. I, I, I think I'm going to get some fish tomorrow, too. You will. I, got, I think I got a good, a good I got a good feeling about it. Let's so. do it. <laughs> hey. Awesome. Mr. Chuck, thank you so you, much. You I do appreciate it. You staying at the state park? I am. I'm at the state park. You have a good night. I'm going to text you tomorrow as, yeah, I'm ca as I'm hammering fish. I'll be sending you photos. Yeah, let me know. Uh, do you want any if I get some? Like, nah. You sure? No, nah, I'm good because I can get fish anytime. All right, all right. Thank you.
It is, shoo, 10.50. Good grief. We better get some food in us. And then hit the hay, because we're getting up bright and early first thing in the morning. We'll get after more crappy here. Mm. Sometimes it's nice not having fish all the time. Of course, we're washing it down with the Yoohoo. Oh, right here it says good source of vitamins. Well, if you needed any more excuses, there you go. I'm just drinking my vitamins for the day. Oh, just got a fresh shower. That felt amazing. Super late though, it's like 11.45. Well, I'll catch you guys in the morning. It's me again, just five and a half hours later. So, we'll check and see how our minnows are doing. Yeah, they're doing good. Looks like I only lost two, maybe three. That's pretty good, actually. So, here's an interesting tip, guys. I had an old fisherman last year tell me, he said, when you're keeping minnows in a bucket overnight, don't fill the bucket way up with water. He said, only put a couple inches of water in there. And I actually dumped some out when I got these fresh yesterday. He said, for whatever reason, when you just put a little bit of water in there, they survive a whole lot better than filling a great big old bucket up. Always listen to those old fishermen when they're giving you tips and tricks. They know a thing or two, because they've seen a thing or two. Uh, a little breakfast from the gas station. The best part of waking up is monster in your cup. Mm. Monster Java. Good for what ails you. Holy cow, look at this boat, guys. Ranger. Dude, dude's got like three 12-inch screens up there. Two in the back. Good grief. And then there's my boat. <laughs> What's up with my boat? Dude, my my boat's under the my boat's hiding from this boat. My boat's embarrassed. He's under the dock. Come on, buddy. It's okay. What we don't make up for in quality. I don't know what we make up for it in it, but we're 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 a good boat. Don't be ashamed. Somebody tell me how much that boat is right there. A 250 Pro Mercury. I'm thinking like 80,000 bucks. I don't know. Probably a little out of my budget. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to get long lining. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. That thing is like almost as big as my boat. That is just crazy how big that thing is. This is awesome. I've always wanted to try this, and now we're getting to. I am pumped. There you go. Just like that. Jig and minna. And then what we're going to do is just take this. Good grief. Cast it out the back of the boat. Let out a bunch of line. There's one rod. Boom! We're set. We are long lining now, officially. Let me get this rod up. Next, get all these cast out. All right! We are all set up. Got two rods on this side. Got two rods over here. And we have got the whole production going on this boat and now basically what we do is we just watch our depth keep an eye on the graph i'm definitely seeing some stuff down there and uh we just pull let me show you what i'm using i have uh, a couple paddle tails and a couple curly tails as you can see multiple colors so we'll see if they prefer any specific color uh or if it's just kind of like they don't care you know as long as we're dragging it through the water. And of course, each one of these is tipped with a minnow. Oh, bite right here. Bite right here. Oh, look at that. He's got it. He's got it. Got him. Got him. Guys, not five minutes in. Fish on. 
Vision. I just sat down for breakfast. Come on. Looks like a crappy. Looks like a crappy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Look at that. Now that's on the purple. That's a beautiful fish. That's a great way to start the day. Let's see the length on this. I'm gonna go, that's about 11, would be my guess. No, dude, that's almost 12 right there, yo. Like 11, 11, oh, dude, that's tickling 12. Tickling 12 inches, 12 inch crappy to start the morning. That is phenomenal, yes. All right, well, that's a lot faster action than yesterday, that's for sure. We might be in for a day. Baited back up. I've got us trolling it just under one mile an hour, like 0 0.8, 0 0.9 miles an hour. Guys, this one again, this one again, the purple, the purple. Got him. Good grief, that's two for two on purple. That might be telling us something right there. I haven't seen it yet because it's in the sun. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's another oinker. <laughs> that's a solid fish, yes! Yes, dude, that's bigger than the last one right there. Let's go. Oh my goodness, look at the weird shape on this guy. Look at that. You guys seeing that? Look, it's like got a big old, almost looks like a bird beak. Bit a piece out of him a long time ago. That's <laughs> so, it's an oddly shaped fish. What I might do is switch both like the small rods to the purple. And then if those just start getting hammered and everything else isn't, that we just switch everything over. Let's go, baby. Woohoo. How big? Oh, yep. Just a hair bigger than the last one. Look at that. That's 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Ha! Yes. Look at that. Look at that. You guys see that? Got him on the 10 footer. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember what. Uh, what bay we had on this <laughs> this is so crazy this is nuts like it's so such a weird fight i'm gonna need my net i was just trying i was just switching the bait over to another purple what do we got another solid fish how do you net this thing look at that that's on purple as well look at this look at this that's on another purple bait that's on the purpy purple cur blah, 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 purple curly tail I think purple's the color. I think that's uh, that's your answer right there. Look at that. He left me my, my minnow too. Can you spit that back out? Whoa. Oh, oh, sorry about that, buddy. He ate that guy up pretty good, but nice. There's about an 11 inch room, I guess. 11, 11 and a half. Guys, three crappy in like 15 minutes. I'm switching everything over to purple now. We're going to switch everything over. I haven't even finished my breakfast sandwich. Oh, three fish and about three quarters of a breakfast sandwich. If that tells you anything about the bite so far this morning. Check this out right here on the screen. Look at that. That's either a little school of crappy or striper. But if it's striper, we'll probably definitely find out here in a minute. Because they're schooled up and they're hunting. So they would load on to a little jig, no doubt. There's a bite right here, right here. Come on. He's on there, he's on there. Got him. Got him. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Just hit the channel. This feels odd. I'm almost wondering if this is a... Is this a striper? No, it's a... Wait, what is that? Yeah, it's a bass. It's a largemouth. How about... Or I think it's a largemouth. Or is that a spot? I was like, he's really running. There you go. I think that's a little largemouth. No, it's a rough patch on the tongue. I think that's a spot. That's one of the fun things about doing this is you know we're after the crappy and we're catching some but i mean people pop big old striper big old large mouth i mean you can catch anything that's pretty cool look at this look at this that just loaded on right there guys i moved out into this channel i was kind of fishing the outside of it moved it to this channel and there's and we've slapped two in the last five minutes this is where they're at right here. It's another solid fish. You know, we're pulling, trying to pull this fish in against, you know, trolling. So it can be a little bit deceiving, but that that feels like a good fish. Come on, baby. No, I don't think that's a crappy. 
Is that another bass? That's another bass. I was like, dang, that's not a bad little spot. Everything likes the purple grub. It's a nice little pound and a quarter. Mixing it up a little bit, adding a little extra flavor to the fight this morning. I've eaten these up. They're tasty. We'll let him go though. I got plenty of crappy in the cooler. Here you go. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Got a good hit. Good hit. Holy cow. What is that? Dude, that's a big old fish. That's a big fish. Come on, be good to me and be a big crappy, huh? Dude, if. No way. Is that a crappy? Is that a crappy? Oh my gosh. It almost. It almost kind of looked like it, yo. It almost kind of looked like it. Oh, it's a striper. Dang it, I saw the white and I thought, yeehaw. But it's a big old striper. Not a big striper, but it's a decent one. That's a bad striper right there. There you go, that's a nice fish. It's a real nice fish. You never know what you'll get when you're trolling. Let's see how long he is. Here at, uh, at Greenwood, there is no 18 inches. There's no size limit. So you can keep whatever you want. That's an 18 inch striper. Yeah, well, that's going on ice. I have made the executive decision. There he is. Got him. Holy cow. Look at that fish. Bet it's another bass. Either that or maybe a striper. It's a crappy. It's a jumbo. It's a jumbie. Kind of doubt it. Oh, he's getting, yeah, he's running into all the other lines. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Ridiculous, this big old rod, man. It's really fun though. Striper. It's a nice striper. Shoot. I mean, I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. He just, I think that's a hybrid, y'all. I think that's a hybrid, isn't it? Wow. What a day. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad morning here on Lake Greenwood. Now, I have to correct something here, though. I talked, or I asked Mr. Truck, I said, you guys have hybrids here, right? Because some lakes have them, some don't. And he said, we do not. That, apparently, is a white bass. That's a white bass, and I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first time I've ever caught a white bass before. I've caught white perch, obviously largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass. Um, but that is my first white bass. So we got white bass, we got striper, and then uh, four nice size crappie on there. So let's go get some lunch. Good, good start to our day, but it's definitely slowed down in the heat of the day. We're gonna see if we can figure out another area that uh, maybe will hold some crappie, because that's the main goal of uh, the last you know, two days, but well, I'll take some striper and white bass too. Not gonna complain about that. Got the essentials. Oh, check this out. Tom's dill pickle chips. I've never heard of Tom's chips before. Is that like a local company? That's a good afternoon snack right there. Mm. lining in a probably about eight feet of water here and we've hooked us a bowl it's running pretty good that's why I'm thinking it's it's probably a striper oh it's a big old catfish yo it's a big old cutie <laughs> big old cat big channel big channel Ugh. okay it's not that big one that's like a five pounder <laughs> That was pretty cool. There you go. I got tons of fish on the cooler. We're gonna let this guy go. We're not really interested in catfish right now. All right, y'all. We are pulled up to this here bridge. I'm gonna take a break. Get out of the sun for a little bit. All right. 
Mr. Chuck told me about this method that he uses, and I think a lot of crappy fishermen use. I've never really done it like this before, but when you're fishing under bridges and stuff, you drop your jig way down. You try not to run into the bridge. Also, a good tip. But you go all the way down to the bottom. I've located a little school of fish here. There we go, we're on the bottom. And then he just slowly reels it up. And the fish usually attack it on the way up. Come on. Oh, there's an attack. Oh, I just got bit. It worked. Come on, hit it. There's a there he is. Right there. Got him. Ha! That was awesome. That's not a bad size either. It's not a bad fish. Ha! Huh. Mr. Chuck, you're the man. I mean, literally the first drop. How big is that? How big is that? That is almost 10 inches. What do you guys think? Should we keep? You know, yeah, I'm gonna keep that. That's not bad. Maybe we call him out later if we don't want it. Here we go. Take two. Oh, there's a bump. Got him. Got him. I was pretty close to the surface too. You followed that up a ways. <laughs> two for two. That's amazing. How big is that one? Yeah, that one's almost 10. You know, we might let that one go. Just a little bit small. Just a little bit small. All right, guys, we are back out long lining again. We have the rally pants on and I guess, well, matching rally jacket as well. We're starting to head to the evening time. Here's our cloud cover. Could have used that about five hours ago. Back in a little cove here that uh, I'm crossing my fingers. Oh, in fact, look at this. Look at that right there. See those little marks right there? Those three right there? That's hopefully some crappy. Um, we'll find out here in a minute. I got four lines getting ready to go right over that area. Here's one. Here's one. Got him. Got him. 10 foot rod. Come on, please be a crappy. Why do I have a fin? This is not a crappy. I'm getting the cooker out because I figure, you know what? I feel like we gotta, yeah, gotta clean up some of our catch. Good grief. See that run right there? I mean, it's a nice fish. It's a fun fight on the 10 foot rod. <laughs> uh, but it's just not what we're after, yo. Just not what we're after. <sighs> there we go, got him. Pretty fish, one of the biggest of the day. Strong spotted bass bite if that's what you're after though. Very strong. Get out of here. Tell the crappy to wake up. That's a nice one. I think that's the 13 incher. It's gonna keep an eye on the production here. So we try to get one of these filleted up. Look at that right there. Woo -hoo. That's gonna taste good. Woo. Look at this, we got some fresh fillets. Going right into our breading. And we'll just get that all coated up. That oil is plenty hot. There we go. Woo. Going in. Yes, sir. Right there, that's the payoff. There you go. Oh, that's hot. Whew. I don't think I'm ever gonna learn to let my food cool down before I eat it. I've been doing this since I was like five. Ugh. There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. Holy, this is another bass, dang it. I can tell already by the way it's running. Wait. What? Wait, is that a crappy? Wait, what is that? That's a white perch. Are you kidding me? We just bumped a big old fat perch. I saw the thickness and I was like, wait, crappy? Well, there you go. Now we get to see a comparison of all three. That's a big old white perch. We gotta measure this thing up. Dude, I am literally catching everything else except crappy right now. I don't get it. Dude, that's an 11 and a half inch perch. Look at that. Whoa! Gotta be careful because they are spiny. Here you go. Often mistook. I can see they're very similar. This guy's got the spines too. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's eerily similar. Oh, except for those lateral lines. That dude is 
bound and determined to stick me. He's like, I know where I'm going. I'm like, yeah, you do know where you're going. Going on ice is where you're going, boy. Get it, son. Ah, close the lid, there we go. There you go. Striper, white bass. That's pretty cool. Like, that definitely fooled me. First time ever catching a white bass. You can definitely see very similar lateral lines and everything. But uh, just not, this was like, the, the striper is definitely like whiter than the striped bass. But that's pretty awesome. Getting a lot of variety while we're out here. Pretty cool, pretty cool day. Here we go, here we go. He just loaded on. Got him, got him. Please be a crappy. Please be a crappy. If it's a crappy, it's a real nice crappy. But the fact that I haven't been able to pull it up to the surface yet has me thinking it's probably just another bass. Dude, it's another white bass. I'll take that. Holy hell. Well, shucks. I won't say no to that. I saw the big fat side and I was like, hey. And then it's like, never mind. You know, you see how fat it is. Kind of reminded me of a crappy way down there. And I thought, wait a second. Now, well, we might not have found the crappy today, but we got the variety of fish. Holy cow. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep that. We got the striper, white bass, perch, tons of crappy. Yes, I do. You know why? Because I've got neighbors at home that love fish. And I'll clean some fish up for them. On the ice you go. Oh my gosh, we've just hooked a whale. I'll bet this is another white bass. Like it hit and it like took drag right as it hit. Wait, it's on the surface. That's not a crappy, is it? It's not a crappy, is it? Oh baby, wait, it looks kind of flat. Oh, <gasps> that's a crappy. It's a crappy. Hallelujah. What? We got, look how dark this thing is. We got one, so I changed up the jig and I went with a blue. <laughs> oh my gosh, finally. Hey, where have you been, brother? Let's see, 11 and three quarters. Nice fish. I thought it was another white bass. Y'all, I've caught two more white bass since the last one. I just threw them back. I was like, okay, I don't need any more. I mean, both like probably 16, 17 inches long. That guy just hit him, just bzzz. Like, I thought, uh, here we go again. That's a, that's probably one of the prettiest crappy I've pulled up. Like, really nice and dark. See some good purple colors in there? I switched up the jigs just for fun because I kind of thought, well, we're at the end of the day, we're not catching any crappy, so may as well just, like, try a bunch of different colors. He hit the blue. Cool. Drop him in there. Oh, good heavens. <coughs> Get back out there. I guess maybe we're not done quite yet. I don't know. Hey, 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 big rod, big rod. The... Oh, this is a big old fish, guys. Wait, he's at the surface. Wait, maybe, maybe it's a crappy. Oh, wait, guys, so, so far, my crappy have come to the surface. Dudes, that might be, that might be a crappy. Oh my gosh, I think it is. That's a crappy, that's a crappy. Where's my net? On the 12 foot rod. Come on, oh, barely hooked in the side. Yes! Yes, like at the 11th hour, literally. I mean, look at it, it's getting, well, the clouds, we'd have more light of one for the daggum clouds. But that, that is a nice crappy on this ridiculous 12 foot rod. Good knit. That is a beautiful fish. That was almost 13. 12 and three quarters on the 12 foot rod. That was awesome. They're late feeders apparently tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I thought uh, by now we'd have a lot more, but they're starting to feed now. <laughs> Y'all, I think that is maybe the perfect way. Oh, never mind. We're getting a bite right there. Look at that. We got a fish on there. We got a fish. Heave! Got him. Hold up one second. Hang on there. Let me see if I can get him in. Oh, don't fall down. Just bear with me. Ah. Another crappy. A baby crappy. What? Huh? Like that's a bitty baby. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the tiniest crappy I've caught in the last two days. That's probably still technically a keeper. They only have to be eight inches. I'll bet that's like nine. But we got really nice ones, so I'm gonna throw it back. Okay, sorry for the chaos. Where were we? I know I was doing the outro. Dude, this 12 footer is getting hit again. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't. Got him. 
got him on the 12 foot rod. Good grief, I can't keep rods in the water right now. Is he still on there? No, he got off, he got off. Good grief, hold up, One, give me a minute here. Oh my heavens, the 10 footer just got bit. I can't, guys, I can't, like, like, rods are going off all over around me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to end this video while I've still got light. And both these rods just got bit. I'll be right back, one second. Good grief. Well, I just put another crappy in the boat. Not a bad one. A little over 10 inches. Not a shabby fish at all. So, we put another one in. We've definitely officially caught more here at Greenwood as far as the crappy goes, and just more in general. This has been awesome. I'll be honest with y'all, I'm not sure if Mr. Truck's gonna get his rods back. He's letting me borrow them for a few weeks, and they might just disappear. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for the last two days, chasing the crappy, not shabby at all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.